So here's the basic technique of how to do meridian tapping. First, there's a point on the left side of the chest that Gary Craig calls the sore spot. If you feel around right in this area, you'll locate a spot that feels kind of sensitive. Now, a lot of uh, EFT practitioners skip that spot and just use the karate chop point. But this is the point where you make the statement about your emotional block, such as, even though I'm afraid to enter a trade, I deeply and completely accept myself. Make that statement while rubbing on this part of the chest and say it three times. You can also say it while tapping on the karate chop point. Then the tapping itself is done on the point where the eyebrow is coming back to the area of the bridge of the nose. And then on the side of the eye, underneath the eye, under the nose, on the chin, on the collarbone area, and under the arm. There's a point under the arm also used in Qigong. In Qigong we also tap here because there's a point where the lateral meridians come together and it activates uh, all the meridians in the center of the body. Now a lot of people who practice meridian tapping will say that you should only do it on one side of the body. You have meridians on both sides of the body and I would always tap on all the meridians on both sides of the body. They like to skip a lot of things in order to have shortcuts. This is taught a lot in meridian tapping and it's kind of like if you were taking a shower and someone told you, well, you can just wash only one underarm, you don't have to wash both of them. Well, personally I feel that from my own practice in Qigong, if there are any meridians on both sides of the body, I'm going to tap on all of them. And it only takes a few seconds, so if you're afraid to t that you might actually tap a few extra times, then you could actually do tapping for that issue, saying, even though I'm afraid that I might tap a few extra times, I deeply and completely accept myself and remove that fear, and then you'll be able to tap on both sides. A lot of meridian tapping experts uh, also like to skip what Gary Craig taught as the nine gamut and that is uh, tapping on the side of the thumb, on the side of the forefinger, and on the side of each finger. Of course they like to skip the ring finger uh, because there's another meridian point that they immediately go to between these two knuckles. The, the uh, knuckle of the small finger and the ring finger tapping on that area and then there are some exercises that you do along with that. And I suggest you learn the, the EFT method from a qualified EFT practitioner or from the Gary Craig material if you can still find it. But what you do is you look hard down to the left with your eyes, you look hard down to the right and then you roll your eyes in a circle three times and you roll them in a circle the other direction three times. And then you hum, they say hum happy birthday <laughs> in order to activate the right side of your brain. Personally, uh, humming happy birthday doesn't quite activate the right side of my brain. So I always like to hum uh, some kind of improvisational or jazz music because that really activates the right side of the brain. And uh, after you hum, then you count and they say just count one, two, three, four, five. You are uh, activating the left side of your brain. If you don't feel that that quite activa activates the left side of your brain, you can count a little bit longer and then also do some multiplication exercises. So I may go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five times five is 25. Seven times six is 42. I know my left brain has been activated and then hum again. I feel that uh, it's important to fully activate the left and right sides of the brain. 
and to fully and thoroughly tap on all the meridians.